Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Marmoset, mm -hmm. and we're back with Animalia with a Let's Play in City Skylines. What we need, according to our fair folk, is industry. So let's put in a large industrial area up this side of the map. So we've got a decent rail connection here, so we can boot some uh, cargo terminals in. We've got a nice amount of highway access. So first thing we can do, ever is make sure we've got the maximum amount of space possible to do so. So let's buy in these ones. So. But I think at our next unlock, we do get our final bit of square, so we'll grab that. But in the interim, let's turn a large proportion of this area into industry. Now, we've already got quite a amount of timber hut cut down here, and if I check the tab of resources, we've also got quite a lot of timber out here. Potentially we could add more timber felling in this area, but I've got to the point where it's like, our city is importing a lot of things. Is there a button on here for imports? Outside connections, imports, products. So yeah, we are importing. So these guys are all importing forestry products in some way, shape, or form. These are exporting forestry products. These are tourism. Okay, forestry products, agricultural goods. So we've got an awful lot of buildings that are importing goods. And these guys down here aren't really producing very much in the way of goods. What we could really benefit from is that this small little industrial area isn't nearly enough to meet the needs of our quite large commercial demand. So what we could do with, as a solution to this, is a large industrial area that is just industry rather than anything in particular. So we shall have a look at doing that. Now, we've got quite a large dark and sunken section in here, which apparently isn't flooded in any way, shape or form, so we'll see how that shapes it. We'll try and avoid that. So this is kind of our area that we're going to be working with. So what we want to start off with is to lay it out and then we'll worry about getting the rest of it sorted out in a bit, so like the extra connection. So previously we've done a spoke that comes down the middle and then it bleeding off to either side. What I'm going to try on this occasion is one that comes down one side and then lots of roads lead off this way, and then a route that comes back down the other side. So, to start with, I am going to start about here with a road that comes off this way. We are going to come across to here, and then we are going to come back to the road over here. And that will be the core of our structure. So, this will simply be an out, and that's the in. And there's all the rest of the connections over here. So what we need to do is basically string roads across this in such a way that we can create some kind of interesting structure. Now, we're all going to just do one way. Is everything just goes that way across the system. Um, and then we will probably... I don't know. Let's have a think. How do we want to do this? Well, what we can do is make it a complete loop. If we connect that up to there, we can make this a complete loop. So that's a loop that goes all the way around. So what we could do is just have a sequence of loops that all just spiral around each other. And then some kind of connection points. What was it? Now where do we want to put the train station? Let's put the train station in the middle. Yeah, let's um Yeah, we want to make one way road. So you the highway connections over here. If we were to carry on going around like this, going around like that, going around like that, going around like that, how do we make sure the traffic flow going through the middle of it wasn't too bad? Well, let's just play with it and then we can have a look later. Leave a little bit of space. There's the next one in. I'm aware this is quite a large industrial area. And what I want to do is put the so these are all going around in the same direction. And then what we'll do is we will put a road that goes one way down the center, like that, and there. We will, I don't know, let's have a think. If we 
I have this road connected to here. Yeah, let's just have it go straight across this way, actually. Like that. The reason being, the railway is over here, so the route will come in and like, rather than just having an extra kink in it, we'll do it this way. So, going around, going around, going around, going around, going around. So, if you want to get between any of these things, let's put the train line in before we get much further. We want a cargo hub. There. And then we will switch to the straight line tool. I don't know why you say the slope is too steep, given I've already and it's kind of weird. Now this is a dead end line. No So what I can do I suppose is move you as far up to there as possible. Delete that. Grab my railway line again. Dive underneath. There we go. It must have just been the particulars. Get to here. Come up to the surface. And then we will be looping our way. To a connection to that side. And then what I will probably do is bleed off in this direction. There's plenty of space, yeah, so what I'll do is I think I will do that in both directions actually. We'll have the junction. That's a bit too close to the track. We'll have the junction, but give it plenty of space so we can get trains. So you don't end up in a situation where tra any point this distance is shorter than the length of a train, so you don't know where the train's waiting over here. So that's that connected up. And we will probably also be adding uh, a connection in to our metro lines in a bit, but we have a connection here to fill in. So there we go, there's our railway terminal in, disappearing into that hillside, so we're happy with that, comes out over there. Right, now we need to work out how we're going to connect these things up. Let's start by connecting it up to the motorway. So you're going that way, so let's come off there and connect. And let's come off from over here. Page up. 12 meters. I think we're on a straight road. I don't necessarily want that. Let's switch to back to this one. Go to here. Come away. And then come round. Don't need a roundabout because it is literally just going straight onwards. Come up by 12. Cross over. Come in as a separate one. Are there any lights here? Yes, there are. Let's, in that case, delete those ones. And if you come in slightly further along, do I want to make that a slightly smaller grade of road? No, I'm pretty happy with it. What we will do, however, is bring up the traffic president and turn off traffic lights in both those locations. So yeah, they dribble in at separate locations, just to space things out a little bit. And up here is where we depart. Like so, for there. Come 
across and join. Done. Give me get a bit of extra space and weave so that these things don't snarl up too badly. I expect an awful lot of traffic to be coming across. So let's make sure that we get the traffic present again and the lane arrows that that lane is right only. And that lane here is straight on only. So you'll see an awful lot of people will come along here and then they'll change lane to go here. And then they'll go off on their merry way. Good, good, good. Um, we may want to look at turn that one into a two-lane road, see how much traffic we get coming out that way. So now we need to link this slot up. Now, at the moment, you are going a one way in that direction, and I want to, traffic to be able to get to this particular direction as easily as possible. So we will start just by stringing in with the straight road that, so that they can... move easily between each of them. So these roads will probably... Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just go full on. Let's make these two lanes just to give us a bit of extra space. And then we'll just go dunk, 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 and the final. We'll just go in the center of here. Now we've got a quite a large of empty space in the middle here, which I will fill by doing that and leaving it empty. We that's roads done. Right. Have that connection in. And that's out. The roads are connected in. You can basically go around clockwise in all of these directions. So if you want to get over here from here, you have to go all the way around. That's not that efficient. Let's think about reversing directions. So that this direction goes the other way around. To this one. Okay, yep, fair enough. And then we change the direction of this one. If you want to randomly go from somewhere else in the ring, you can now do so. There. Righto. Yeah, so that one comes in and goes those directions, that one goes that way. So we've got traffic lights on a lot of these places, but that's got decent like the road, so you come in that side, join here and on your way. I'm going to put one on the other side as well, but I don't think we need two at this time. This is it's quite a large junction. Having two in the middle can potentially drastically increase our amount of traffic we could have coming in and out. If a queue forms, then I'll think about it. But for now, I'm reasonably happy with that. So, next up is power. So we will, are going to want to plug it into our existing network. Which we'll take from over here. Mm, come on, get the spacing just right. Plugged into there, that's power. Now we're going to need water, which we'll again we'll take from over here. Run that directly out of that road. What was it 440? I think was the the distance. 480. And then we'll just play the whack-a-mole game with the water. It's in the original, very early Sim 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 City. You could get into a lot of problems if you didn't route your water properly. Because it was carried by the buildings, not by the underground pipes. 
So if you suffered, were too lazy putting your water pipes in, you can end up with a situation whereby you'd suffer a massive catastrophic disaster, and suddenly half your city wouldn't have any water because the buildings that were carrying all the water pipes had all combusted due to some large monster or an earthquake or some other hideous disaster. I wonder why it plays the level up noise at that point. One last connection across. Alright, that's the water done. Next we want trash. We are going to be generating an awful lot of trash um, in this place. And also having these guys dotted around a bit does actually generate a measure of power. So let's put them in the middle like that. Healthcare, we are going to want some healthcare because this is a heavy industrial area, so we are going to want to be able to care for the injured. Let's put one on either side. Fire. We are going to want a lot of fire capacity. Yes, let's move you Let's have, well, yeah, let's have one of these on every single spoke. And we check by fire coverage. Is there a fire coverage button? Natural resources, outside connections, transport. Fire safety. Obviously, it takes a while, so that one covers that half, that section, that section, quite a bit of this section. Okay, fine. Police. Put them on opposite here, I suppose. Well, that only covers that half of it. Okay, so we'll put police stations. Opposite our hospitals, don't need any education out here, we'll need transport. So we will want a metro station, we will put that in here, because it's our centre of our location. And then we need to bring this out and connect it up with the rest of our network. Where should we have it join? Hmm. Right. Where would be a good place to have it join up? Well, one thing we could do is put an extra metro station in between here and add it as a stop on the lines. Make it just a connection point for that bit of the industry. Yeah, let's do that. Let's grab a four-way cross. And put it in here. And then bring that bit of track back. To trim it quite as far on that side. There we go. Roots. Yep. And yep. So that's those two roots. Now have a stop here. Now we want to carry on out from here. What's nice as that an idea it is, I think perhaps that we could probably just go with a much smaller curve and then switch to a straight line rather than doing quite a prestigious arc. 
done. And then we will have a route that goes from here, the shift, and there, and back again. Let's get our metro line. Ooh, yes, we're going to need to name the name for this district, won't we? Let's put the district in while we talk. Just quickly give it a paint. Not going to worry too much about sticking too close to the road. It's such an enormous district, it's not going to matter too much. There we go. Elizabeth the district, apparently. Well, that's not an animal name. Let's call it Spider Industrial, because that looks very much like a web to me. Policies. Parks and Education, yes. Past prison centres, no, I don't think so. Taxation. Let's go for leisure. City planning. Industrial space planning. Doubles the amount of goods. Yep, we'll have that. Other than that, I think I'm pretty happy with our commercial settings for this location. And I think we'll call it an episode there. So next time, we'll be going through and adding some bus routes and all the other bits and pieces. So parks, plenty of parks. We may think about adding some high-density commercial inside this area so that the people working in this area have somewhere to go and have lunch and do a little bit of shopping. But that'll be for next time. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been a Let's Play of City Skylines and the City of Animalia. Please remember to like and subscribe.